The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a people's memorial to the service members whose remains have not been located or identified. It is guarded 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, by the 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, known as the Old Guard. After World War I ended, on November 11, 1918, the nations involved had to decide how to memorialize the war and honor the thousands of dead, both known and unknown. Great Britain and France each decided to inter an unknown soldier to honor all service members from the war. On November 11, 1920, Great Britain interred its unknown warrior in Westminster Abbey in London, while France interred its unknown soldier at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Following the lead of these allies, Congress passed legislation in March 1921 authorizing an American unknown soldier to be interred in a tomb at Arlington National Cemetery's Memorial Amphitheater. The following October, four sets of unknown remains were disinterred from four American cemeteries in France and placed in identical caskets. During a solemn ceremony on October 24, 1921, the World War I unknown was selected from among these four. The other three were reburied in the Moose Argonne Cemetery in France. The USS Olympia, a storied naval battleship, transported the unknown soldier from France to the United States, arriving at the Washington Naval Yard on November 9, 1921. For the next two days, the unknown soldier lay in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda. On November 11th, the day of the funeral, thousands of people lined the streets of Washington, D.C. to witness a large ceremonial procession that transported the unknown's casket from the Capitol to Arlington National Cemetery. Thousands more packed into Memorial Amphitheater to witness the burial ceremony in which President Warren G. Harding addressed the nation and presented the unknown with the Medal of Honor. At noon, the nation held a two-minute moment of silence, allowing those not present at Arlington to participate in this historic moment. Although the tomb of the unknown soldier was built to honor an unknown soldier from World War I, it later became a national place to honor military service and sacrifice more broadly. On Memorial Day in 1958, a dual funeral took place for one unknown service member from World War II and one from the Korean War. These unknowns are buried in crypts in front of the tomb. To honor unknown service members from World War II, the Army chose 18 unidentified bodies from North Africa, Europe, the Philippines, and Hawaii. From those 18, two were chosen for final selection, one from the Pacific Theater and one from the European. Their remains were put in identical caskets and placed aboard the USS Canberra, where Navy Hospital Corpsman First Class William R. Charette, then the Navy's only living active duty Medal of Honor recipient, selected the unknown by placing a wreath of carnations on one of the caskets. The remaining unknown received a solemn burial at sea. To represent unknown service members from the Korean War, Army officials chose one unidentified casket from four exhumed at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific in Hawaii. The 1958 ceremonies reprised many of the 1921 events. The two unknowns lay in state at the U.S. Capitol. Thousands of people watched the procession to Arlington, and President Dwight D. Eisenhower and Vice President Richard Nixon presented the two unknowns with the Medal of Honor. Before the Vietnam War ended, Arlington National Cemetery began preparing to add a third crypt to the tomb. Due to advances in technology, however, only one set of recovered remains from the Vietnam War had not been fully identified. These remains were designated as the Vietnam War Unknown and buried at the tomb on Memorial Day, 1984, in another large funeral officiated by President Ronald W. Reagan. Later, the Department of Defense and civilian partners re-examined the evidence that suggested the Vietnam War unknown was likely U.S. Air Force First Lieutenant Michael Joseph Blassie, a pilot who had been shot down in 1972. At the request of Blassie's family, the Department of Defense exhumed the remains from the Vietnam unknown's crypt on May 14, 1998, and using DNA analysis, positively identified them as Blassie. Blassie's family chose to rebury him at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery in Missouri. While the crypt remains vacant, it was rededicated to honor all missing U.S. service members from the Vietnam War on September 17, 1999, National POW MIA Recognition Day. Today, the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency continues to work to recover and identify missing U.S. military personnel from all past wars and conflicts in countries around the world. The iconic tomb guards are an unforgettable part of experiencing the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. But the tomb was not always guarded. In 1925, in response to reports of disrespectful behavior at the tomb, a civilian guard began daily duty there. The next year, a military guard replaced a civilian guard. In 1937, 24-7 guard duty began. And nearly a decade later, the Army's 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, known as the O-Guard, 
took over this sacred duty. In 1961, Fred Moore became the first African-American tomb guard. And in 1995, Heather Lynn Johnson became the first woman tomb guard. The tomb guards honored the unknowns through the precision and perfection of their rituals. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is located next to the Memorial Amphitheater on its east side. 